Go on. All right, Shalom. I want to start off with give all praises, our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rakakatash. The honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the whole elect. Hope this video will be edifying. And without further ado, let's get into it. Now, topic that I want to be talking about today, which also is going to be the title. He is the door. He is the way. You know, Yahweh Shai is that door. Yahweh Shai is the way, man. We should acknowledge him. You know, these these people, <laughs> hey, these Old Testament demons, they don't want to acknowledge Yahweh Shai, but he is the reason why we we can go back to to the to the Most High, man. You know. Now, let's get that in John chapter ten and verse one. Fairly, fairly, I say unto you, he that entered not by the door into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way, the same is a thief and a robber. You see, so, A, actually verse 2 also, but he that entered in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Who is that door? That door is Yahweh Shai, man. So you have to enter in through that door, you know. You have when you enter into a house, you have to enter through the door, man. You cannot just enter through a window. What the fuck is that, man? Then you're a thief, you know, you're a robber. Jump into verse 7. Then said Yahusha unto them again. Fairly, fairly, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep. You see? Verse 8. All that ever came before me are thieves and robbers, but the sheep did not hear them. Verse 9, I am the door by me, by me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. So the point is, Yahusha is the door, man. Yahusha is that door, you know, Yahusha is that, uh, is that, uh, door um and through him you can be saved man through Yahweh Shai you can be saved you know through Yahweh Shai you can be saved when you enter into that door through Yahweh Shai that's where you're going uh, um, uh, be that's where you're going to be protected man you know you see um this Luke chapter 19 and verse 27 because all you people that don't want to acknowledge Yahweh Shai, y'all don't want to acknowledge that he died for the nation of Israel. Y'all don't want to acknowledge him as a uh, Lord, King of Kings, Lord of Lords. You know, that's this is what going, going to be happening to y'all, man. You know, it's fair, hey, man. The, the things that Yahweh Shai did for us as a nation, right? For people to even dare to say, uh, uh, um, for people to not dare to for people to dare to not acknowledge him is purely and uh, blatant openly disrespectful man you see anyway this luke chapter 19 and verse 27 but those mine enemies which would not that i have that i should reign over them bring hither and slay them before me you see and those are the people that those <laughs> yahushua is saying like hey all those people that don't want want me to reign over them, bring them before me and slay them, man. Chop their fucking heads off. You know? What they rightly deserve also, man. You know? How can you not acknowledge uh, uh, Yahweh Shai and what he did for us, man? For the nation of Israel. The things he had to go through. Suffering on the cross. You know? Man. This First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. For there is one God which is Yahweh, and one mediator between God and man, between Yahweh and man, the man, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, you see? So, I'm going to read it one more time. Verse 5, this First Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5, For there is one God and one mediator between God and man, the man, Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, you see? So, you have Yahweh, then you have Yahweh Shai, and then you have uh, uh, um, uh, the man, you see? The men of the nation of Israel. You see? And basically, um, well, not the men of the nation of Israel. Let me just say it like this. You have Yahweh, then you have Yahweh Shai, 
Then you have the twelve, uh, um, the, the 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 apostles, you know, and then you have um, the disciples that was the, that that later became on apostles, and then you have uh, uh, the hundred forty four thousand men, and then you have um, the one third, the unknown uh, innumerable multitude. Then you have uh, the the rest of the nation of Israel, man. You see. So. Going back, Yahweh Shai is that mediator, man. So Yahweh Shai is that uh, uh, advocate, basically, uh, that middleman, that mediator between uh, God and man. You see. So you, <laughs> how can you not acknowledge? How can you not acknowledge the the, the mediator then, man? Y'all, 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 hey, these Old Testament demons, these people that, that think they can just go to the Father straight away, they don't have no clue, uh, they don't have no clue how disrespectful, and not even disrespectful, but they don't have no clue that you cannot just go unto the Father, man, especially not after the things that we did, man, you know, the Most High was very angry at us, and he was a very, dis uh, he was not pleased with us, man, that's why, he sent Yahweh Shai to now be that mediator for us, man. To now uh, talk for us. Because he still loves us, man. Verse 6. Who gave himself a ransom for all, which Yahweh Shai did, to be testified in due time. You see, Yahweh Shai went through a lot of stuff for us, man. For the nation of Israel. Um, let's see. This Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 3, among whom also we all had our conversation in times past in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of, of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature the children of wrath, even as others. Right? Before before we, we came back to uh, the Mosai Yabashi Mashiach, but Yahweh, who is rich in faith, uh, like, who is rich in mercy for his great love wherewith he loved us. You see what I was ju just talking about earlier. You know, the Most High Yahweh, Bashim Rashai, he was very displeased with the nation of Israel. So basically, he, he, he cut us off concerning um, that covenant, you know, and he made a new covenant, you know. And Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai is basically um, the reason we can go, go back to our, our Lord Yahweh, Yahweh, man, you see, which is uh, um, that new covenant. Even when we were dead in sins, had quickened us together with Yahweh Shai, by grace ye are saved, and had raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Yahweh Shai Mashiach. You see, because of the most, be, uh, so like because of Yahweh Shai, we now have access back to the Most High Yahweh, man. You see, that in the ages to come he might show the exceeding riches of his grace in his kindness towards us through Yahweh Shai, yeah, right, being joined as with Yahweh Shai. You know, for by grace and um, being joint heirs, meaning uh, whatever portion Yahweh Shai is going to get, we're going to get a, a small portion of that also, man. Through our Lord Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, the, the portion, the big portion that Yahweh Shai gets from the Most High, he's going to fight that. Uh, um, he's going to fight that uh, for his uh, uh, men, you know, the 144,000, you see. Being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. For by grace are ye saved, through faith, and that not of yourself. It is a gift of the Most High Yahweh Shai. Right. Not of works, as any man should boast. You see, so, hey, it's it's through the grace, through grace are we saved, man. You know? It's not that we that we did something special. <laughs> oh, you, 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 you a great teacher or, 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 um, a precept king and stuff like that. That's why you save. No, man. It's by grace. It's, be, it's the gift of the Most High Yabashim Yashai, man. You see? So I hope this video was edifying. I want to give all praise. It's our honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushai, Bahashim, Rekakadash. To be honest, to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, Shalom to the hopeful lack. Hope this video was edifying and Shalom.